Hey, boys and girls, I have a question for you. If somebody threw you a big pile of money like this, how would you count it first? Would you start with the ones bills? Like this? Or would you start with the big bills? You'd start with the big bills, of course. That's how bankers and people in stores usually count money. They start with the big bills first because they want to know how much of the big money they have first. Then they count up the smaller bills and eventually the change. Okay, in addition, very often we do the opposite. When we're adding something like 53 plus 22, we're often asked to add up the small bills first. 3 plus 2. And that would equal a sum of 5. Then we move over and we add up the big, the big bills. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus another two more, and we know that that would equal 70, so 75. But another way to look at it is this. If you have, somebody gives you $53, and then they give you $22, what people in banks usually do is they take the tens and they put them together first, and then they put the ones together second. Then they count up a partial sum. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. They know they have $70 so far, but they've only added up the big bills. Now they're going to add up the small bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. They've just finishing at they've just finished adding up the small bills and they added they found that they had five more dollars. They have one more step. They have to add their partial sums. Now they have a total. Two different ways of adding double digit numbers. One in which you start in the ones place, and another in which you start in the tens place.